praise the name of Jesus. I want to welcome you tonight uh, to the presence of God. And where will you be worshiping the Lord tomorrow? We have space for you in Rebot Cathedral. Wherever you are listening to me, Ulioli Extension, that's where Rebot Cathedral is. Join us 7 a.m. tomorrow morning or 9 a.m. or 11 a.m. Any of those three services, we bring revolution into your life. And I'm looking forward to receiving you and to be a blessing to you. Don't stay at home tomorrow. Come to church. Now we are looking at keys. Keys to business exploit. And tonight we are looking at the key of morality. Once you allow immorality, that becomes a, a, a dream pipe to your capital to the finances of your company. When we talk about extramarital relationship, it's something extra. Marital relationship is a nobody, but when you not bring extra, you kill the business. Buying properties or renting properties for side chicks and baby mamas. Let me make this clear to you nothing destroy that the business of immorality the bible says whosoever committed adultery with a woman lacketh understanding something has gone wrong with the head <laughs> that's what the bible says and it says the adulterer will be hunting for precious souls so that the, the, the every precious thing around the precious soul can be removed can be sucked away anyone engaged in office romance we bring down that company. Therefore, keep yourself pure. Morality is a major key to business success and breakthrough. When morality is thrown to the winds, every goes to the wind. In the name of Jesus, the enemy will not bog you down. You keep flying through immorality. You keep flying through morality in the name of Jesus. You won't lose your, your sanity. You remember what happened to Solomon? He lost his sanity. The Bible says he went after strange women. And everything God said he should do, he walked away from it. And God was angry with him. And every precious thing became vanity. He said vanity upon vanity all has become vanity because of loss of sanity to immorality. I commend you to God and the word of his grace. As God begin to bless you, may the enemy not enter through immorality and truncate your success, your greatness in the name of Jesus. I commend you to God and the word of his grace. One, I pray that God will perfect all that concerns you. In Jesus' mighty name. And God will keep you. He will sustain you. No matter the haunting of the adversary, you will not fall. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. See you in church tomorrow at 7, at 9, and 11. God bless you. Good. Bye for now.